The Cystic Fibrosis community is invited to participate in a series of videos and podcasts on individuals that are living, breathing, succeeding with cystic fibrosis. This video, the Hatfield brothers, Brett and Brennan, being compliant with CF, was made possible through an unrestricted educational grant from Genentech to the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Today we'll meet the Hatfield brothers, Brett and Brennan, both living, breathing, succeeding with CF. Brett is 17 and Brennan is 15, both attending high school, enjoying sports, staying healthy by being compliant to medications, practicing good nutrition, and exercising to keep their lungs clear. I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when I was born. I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis also when I was born. Um, most people don't even know that we have CF. We pretty much just normal people, kind of hard to tell, and it doesn't really make a difference. We're just like normal brothers. We just we, we get in a fight sometimes and all that. <laughs> I would like people to know that I'm just like a normal person. I have more challenges I have to do, and it just makes me stronger. My advice for people with CF is just to stay active and exercise and eat the right foods and take your pills all the time. Don't miss them. Well, before I go to school, I have to do my vest and um, have to inhale uh, three medicines, I think, Polmazine and two others. And at school, I have to take my pills during lunch. And then when I get home, I eat a snack and take pills again. And then I have to do my vest again before night for 30 minutes. And I do three breathers then. And before bed, I have to take vitamins and take more pills. And then that's it for the day. I think to be compliant, you have to be on a constant uh, schedule. Like you have to be able to know when to do it. You have to stay with it, like with the nutrition, exercise, and treatments. You have to just stick on it to stay healthy and all that. My daily medication routine uh, during the weekdays, I get up in the morning, I do my best. I do a nebulizer with Pulmazine and other antibiotics. After that, I go upstairs, have a big breakfast. I have a big breakfast too. Some days I have like biscuits and milk, and some days I have Pop-Tarts and milk, bacon or milk. We usually don't drink any pop and all that, it's just milk. I drink a chocolate protein shake to help me keep my calories on. I usually have a protein shake too, but sometimes I make a smoothie. Um, I exercise a lot. Me and my brother, sometimes we run and then we do the circuit. And then when I get home from school, I usually run like two miles on the treadmill and lift weights with my brother. Um, to be compliant, um, I have to exercise every day and not miss any treatments and um, just eat right, eat healthy foods, not junk food all the time. We both encourage each other a lot though, just to stay motivated. I think the most difficult part about keeping up with treatments is that even though they're very important, they're somewhat time consuming. Like if you want to go hang out with friends or socialize, it could be difficult. Yeah, um, all my friends know and they know not to come around me if they're sick or anything. And always wash your hands before they come over. Um, we usually just clean our house a lot with Lysol and everything and we put um, our medicines separate from each other in order to minimize and like infection risk and all that we have to make sure our medicines are on separate parts of the counter and uh, if we uh, clean breathers like boil them and then like we have to keep them separate just to make sure we don't grab the wrong ones and use them I would say for others with CF is just keep keep staying healthy keep doing the treatments don't stay out don't forget them don't make your health go down just try to keep it up I think we work together and push each other to work out more, like just, just having fun and competitively. Like during the winter, we try to see who can lift the most weight, who can run the longest on the treadmill without like stopping. One that helps my lungs the most is probably swimming outside. And I play football this year and I just do, I do swim team during the winter, stay active. I would have to say the biggest change in lung function while working out, like a specific sport would be swimming. It makes me feel better, it makes me feel good, and I want to keep swimming throughout my life just because I like it so much.